Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Rabbi Yates. It's incredible to think that only a few months ago I felt called to read the Bible and make videos of it. I started with Genesis chapter 1 and just kept on going. We are now nearing the end of the last book of Moses. I find myself continuing, but also growing an understanding of God's Word. The Bible truly is an amazing book, full of little details that are often overlooked when just hearing church sermons. Anyway, I mean, in Deuteronomy chapter 30 today, let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask as people hear your word, that you come to better understanding of you. Amen. It shall happen, when all these things have come on you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you shall call them to mind among all the nations, where Yahweh your God has driven you, and return to Yahweh your God, and obey his voice according to all that I command you today, you and your children, with all your heart, and with all your soul, that then Yahweh your God will release you from captivity, have compassion on you, and will return and gather you from all the peoples where Yahweh your God has scattered you. If you are outcasts, or in the uttermost parts of the heavens, from there Yahweh your God will gather you, and from there he will bring you back. Yahweh your God will bring you into the land, which your fathers possessed, and you will possess it. He will do you good, and increase your numbers more than your fathers. Yahweh your God will circumcise your heart, and the heart of your offspring, to love Yahweh your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, that you may live. Yahweh your God will put all these curses on your enemies, and on those who hate you, who persecute you. You shall return and obey Yahweh's voice, and do all his commandments which I command you today. Yahweh your God will make you plenteous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground. For God, for Yahweh will again rejoice over you for God, as he rejoiced over your fathers. If you will obey Yahweh your God's voice, to keep his commandments and his laws, which are written in this book of the law, if you turn to Yahweh your God, with all your heart, and for your soul. For this commandment, which I command you today, is not too hard for you, or too distant. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will go up for us to heaven, and bring it to us, and proclaim it to us, that we may do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us, and bring it to us, and proclaim it to us, that we may do it? But the word is very near to you in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. Look, I have set before you today life and prosperity, and death and evil, for I command you today to love Yahweh your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, his laws, and his traditions, that you may live and multiply, that Yahweh your God may bless you in the land where you go in to possess it. But if your heart turns away, and you will not hear, but are drawn away and worship of gods, and serve them, I warn you today that you will surely perish. You will not prolong your days in the land where you pass over the Jordan to go in and possess it. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Therefore, choose life that you may live, you and your descendants, to love your way, your God, to obey his voice, and to cling to him, for he is your life, and the length of your days, that you may dwell in the land which you always saw to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them.